Ladies and gentlemen, we have some empire business to take care of. We've got some anti-government radicals who are, oh, they are just making all sorts of trouble. And I'm not happy. I'm not happy that they're still around. We need to sort this out. We need to sort this out because of one major thing. Stealth. The fact that you can stealth as this character is amazing. I love this. This is, this is honestly, to me, just an RPG. This is 100% just an RPG. That's what I'm doing. We're just playing an RPG right now. And the, the ship, I never got around to showing it in the video, but the Imperial Agent ship is badass. I mean, look at this. I was expecting, like, some little kind of piddly, kind of one-man fly-around-the-galaxy kind of thing, a little kind of shuttle. But the fact that they just equip you with a massive freaking stealth fighter, and they're like, okay, cool, you're no longer an agent. You're, you now have the codename Cypher 9. You have authority to go and do whatever you want. Just, just go and investigate stuff. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm on board with this can get behind that no problem at all but it, in all seriousness i had a, a really good time like a genuinely good time i i think that an mmorpg often focuses too much on the mmo bit and not enough on the rpg bit which is why when i find games that do focus on rpgs i'm super duper happy so guild wars 1 is an rpg uh, old school runescape is effectively an rpg as well things that put the the role play of your character and the quests the storylines the world the fantasy the people that kind of stuff first i love it when you put it first so to me what this is is an rpg that happens to be online and i like that a lot it's an rpg that's online and i can get on board with that but in all seriousness, I am, uh, you have essentially become a 40k inquisitor. Pretty much. That's why I'm liking it so much. Now, people are going to say to me, Ah, oh, Josh, did you know that you can open the galaxy map by just clicking on the galaxy map icon? I did know that, but I like the roleplay element of getting onto my ship, running up to the front, and then moving from here. You know, I like this bit. Uh, level 16 to 20, let's do it. I don't need to, uh, and now I'll watch. I'll actually watch it as it turns and flies away. I think that's really cool. Now, look at that. Ludicrous speed. That's what we've got. Immersion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have just joined us, thank you very much if you are a new follower. And I've seen a lot of people that have subscribed. Uh, I hope that I can continue to be entertaining for many years to come. Thank you very much for that. And if you just come over from YouTube, I, if you're a Star Wars fan and I upset you, if you're a Star Wars fan and you're a Jedi and I upset you, you have to forgive me. That's part of the Jedi Code. And if you're a Star Wars fan and you're a Sith and I upset you, you, you don't get bothered by trivial things like what some random YouTuber and streamer says. So no matter which side of the kind of binary you fall on with that, you can't be angry. You can't be. It's not allowed. Not going to work. You didn't wave your hand. Ah, oh, shit. That's how Jedi magic works, isn't it? That is 100% how Jedi, Jedi magic works. I know some people are messaging me saying, hey, uh, I appreciate that uh, you've you've made the video and stuff. A lot of people, when I play games like this, ask if they can uh, join up with me. And I'm more than happy for that to happen, but please understand that I'm actually a very boring person to play with in-game when I'm streaming. Because literally, like, 95% of my focus is on the stream. There will be things in the game that I miss. People often message me and they're like... You know, hey, why are you so shit at the game on stream? And the answer is because when streaming, my focus is basically entirely on entertaining. It's not necessarily on actually being good at the game. And you miss really small, really obvious stuff. You do, all the time. Because someone asked him to wait. Oh yeah, someone's asked me to wait for a pee bake and I, I stopped them before. You've got to. But no, I'm terrible. I am really, really bad at paying attention to two things at once. So, streaming and being good at the game? No. Streaming or being good at the game? Yeah, I could focus on being good at the game, but then it'd be a terrible stream. Which is also why, when I'm playing off-stream, I tend to play games like Guild Wars 1, or just I try and push through as much Star Wars as I possibly can. Now, I think I've got the sound levels correct. Let's just double-check. Imperial Conquest Consolidation Corps. They 
case, we're the ones who seal the deal. I suppose you're aware of the situation here on Balmora? I will turn up the the voice acting on this. Right, uh, just get to the point. The Empire invaded Balmora in the last war, but we've been spinning our wheels in the mud ever since. Resistance fighters think they can drive the Empire off Balmora. We're here to put... Okay, cool. Right, where do I come in, mate? What does this have to do with me? We want the best Sith agents and guns for hire in the galaxy to put this war down once and for all. The Balmoran government in exile, backed by Minister... Of the Minister yes, just tell me who to kill. Right, so just, I'll, I'll kill him. Let's get to work, then. What do you need me to do? That's what I'm looking for. People who want to get things done. I'm going to skip through this conversation just so I can turn up the things. Who threw confetti at me? Right, preferences, audio... Let's go with voice volume a little bit higher. Uh, let's go with... Let's take these things down and leave voice volume. I think we should be able to have that. Okay, cool. So we'll take these things down. Pretty much everything apart from sound effect and voice, which should be much louder. And now I can turn the desktop audio up substantially. To make sure you guys can actually hear this. I do try as hard as I can to get these levels set. Is there a random impromptu dance party that's just happened? So. I don't think you are treating Cypher 9, an Imperial agent from military, from, from intelligence, quite as... This right, I am above this. I know. I know. No, you don't. You don't get to have fun with me. I've got a job to do. You losers. You can stay there in your loser disco. I. He's undercover. It's fine. I'm invisible. See now you can't see me. Now no one can get me. It's absolutely fine. Glitter trails. Oh God, that's going to give my position away, isn't it? Oh, I think this is definitely going to give the position away. I'm trying so hard. Oh, good. This is why I don't tell people when I'm playing games. Right, where do I need to get to? I've got to get to the straight south. Okay, cool. Straight south. Let's go this way. This is fine. You're sparkling. I am. Look, sparkles have happened. Uh, life day cheer. Three minutes. You feel extremely festive. And what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. You guys can't see me apart from the trail of sparkles that's coming off me afterwards. Serious gameplay. Everyone, stop having fun. Stop it. I'm having serious, serious Imperial... I will go and play The Phantom Menace on PS1. And unless you all start behaving, I will go and play The Phantom Menace. I'll put it on, uh, I'll put it on emulator. I will play Pod Racing, the, the Game Boy game. That's what I'll do. Okay, cool. I think, we're, I think we've lost them. No, no, there's a lot of people still there. What's over here? In all seriousness, though, I am very much enjoying the uh, the actual... Oh, that's cool. There's like a shield above the city. I am genuinely enjoying the storyline, and I want to keep enjoying the storyline, and you are not going to ruin it for me. You're not. I'm going to keep having fun despite you. Not with you. Despite you. In spite of you. When are you next streaming Path of Exile? I don't know. I honestly do not know. Eventually. I will get round to it eventually. All right, let's see if we can uh, get the noise and audio levels balanced this time. We should be able to have the voices be loud enough. I'm not sure if voice counts as like special effects or sound effects or... This is cool. Right, I think it was down here, wasn't it? Here we go. Am I going in here? Yes. There we go. You will get the biggest plot twist. Hey, don't... Uh, no spoilers. This is why I don't read chat. Because you guys spoilers all round. Well, what have we here? Let me take a look at you. You're one of keepers. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this up substantially. Give me a second. Uh you know Keeper. You sound like you're familiar with the director. Well, Keeper and I go back. I knew him before, well before he was Keeper. Wouldn't trust him if my life depended on it, though. <laughs> I kid, of course. Why not? He was a good sort. But here, I'm being a poor host. Have a drink. Settle in after your trip. This shop doesn't look like much, but it's secure. Okay, so Keeper, Keeper's the guy that I trust. Keeper is the 
is the Imperial Liaison Officer that I have been answering to pretty much the entire time. Interesting. Yeah, let's cut out the small talk, mate. I've got people to kill. Let's get to the point. You're reminding me of Keeper already. Very well. This terror cell you're after, worse than the Republic, homegrown. They use bombings and sabotage to show their distaste for Imperial rule. Punishing the civilian population doesn't seem to deter them, but if we can take out the local leader, the cell should fall apart. I'm always concerned now that I'm actually talking to Nolan North. I don't know. You can never know whether you are talking, literally anyone, anyone in the entire world, you can be having a lovely conversation with them, and then what we'll do is they'll, they'll pull off like a perfect human latex mask, and it's Nolan North. That, he's everywhere. He's scary. He's terrifying. He's everyone in games. Right. Um, punishing the civilians doesn't seem to deter them, yet you've failed to kill their leader. You have this plan, but you haven't actually implemented it. Yes, well, we don't know exactly who the leader is. The terrorists call the man in charge Grey Star. He runs the cell, gives the orders, and knows all the secrets. They claim Grey Star used to work with the Eagle, but who can be sure? Only the high-ranking cell members know Greystar's identity. Well, I guess it's time for an interrogation. We can capture a cell member and bring out the torture droids. That should get us what we need. Messy, Agent. Very messy. And likely to alert our quarry besides. I propose another stratagem. I have a mole inside the terrorist cell already. He's a good lad. No cipher, though. He can bring you in. You'd have the opportunity to impress the terrorists, win their trust. Right. You're serious. You expect me to pose as a terrorist? Isn't that what cipher agents do? Sand you pine, my operative can introduce yeah, you to the terrorist. I suppose, yeah, it kind of works, okay. Workshop outside the safe zone. But be careful how you present yourself. If the terrorists suspect you're Imperial, you'll lose Grey Star. And your lives. I am not talking much because I'm really enjoying the voice acting in this and I want the story to flow with it. It's very good. Do I think my stream will be more popular than my clips? No, never. And I'll explain why. Simply because. Um, have you ever watched baseball? I'm not a big baseball fan, but I like watching the highlights because the highlights are amazing. Watching actual baseball is boring. Like regular baseball, boring as heck. Highlights, amazing, because it's only the interesting bits. That's kind of like the clip channel. The actual stream, what this is right now, oh, there's a Darth just hanging out there for me. The actual stream, quite boring. The highlights, all the good stuff. What you guys are doing is braving. You are braving the, uh, the baseball game before the highlights even happen. Big Mo here, glad you're enjoying Agent Storyline. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I've had a lot of people... A lot of people message me saying that they are happy to help out and I think the community behind the Old Republic has been super supportive and very receptive and seems like a really uh, engaging and, and happy bunch to be honest. You guys like the game. You want the game to do better. Okay, cool. So mine was speak to Sanju Pine. Sanju Pine is going to be the, I'm guessing, the guy that's going to get me in. Uh, where's Sanju Pine? Sanju Pine is all the way over there. Can we... Yeah, Sanju Pine is south. Can I take a taxi? Let me see if I can grab a taxi to Sanju Pine to get there a bit quicker. I still don't know the best way around the place, but I'm trying. The Star Wars community is cool like 95% of the time. Yes. Yeah, that's... Uh, we'll go with that. Most players love the game but are sad about the last few expansions. Again, creates it. People are messaging me, you down to create a group or are you streaming? Honestly, when I am streaming, I am not a good group player. Because when I am streaming, the game is almost background. You know, the, you could replace the game with pretty much anything. This is just background. I'm not paying too much attention to it. No speeder. Someone has sent me a speeder. Uh, Big Mo sent me a speeder, but they sent it to me on my smuggler class. And they said I can put it in my legacy storage and pick it up on this class. I don't think you have access to the legacy storage until you're a paying member. So I've got access to a speeder, but I'll have to become a member first first. Right, that's the Imperial Outpost, and that's... Let's go that way. Let's see where that is. I got the message that said, hey, you're finally awake, you were trying to cross the border. Yes. I put that on the, the Twitch going live message to see how many people I can trick into thinking it's Skyrim. Now you have to play Hotball. I'll play Hot... Everyone has been mentioning Hotball. I'll play Hotball at some point. It'll take some time to get there. I sent you a speeder. That's what the mail notification was. You... 
People, you do not need to send me stuff in the games that I play, for two main reasons. One, I don't ever want to feel that I'm exploiting the popularity that I have within the MMO sphere. I don't want to feel like I'm having, you know, an easier time of it. And two, if you give me something valuable in a game, I won't know that it's valuable until I've been playing the game for a while. So you could send me the rarest, most expensive thing, and I would have no clue what you've given me. I wouldn't know how to value it, if that makes sense. You'd uh, you'd give me something really impressive, and I'd look and be like, I don't... Uh, are you guys executing these guys on the cliff? I mean, okay, that's, that, that's fair. You could give me something really rare and powerful and expensive, and I wouldn't know what it is. I, 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 I wouldn't be able to appreciate it. Someone would send me, being like, hey, you're just playing, here's a rare thing, and I'd be like, oh, thanks. I don't know what it is. It'd be like giving a caveman a million dollars. Perfect. Inquisitor. Perfect description for it. Don't give me stuff until I have earned and understood what stuff actually is. I'm going to go south one more down there. Uh, another interesting point about this is I don't get a lot of chance to play a lot of the games. Hang on, wasn't I meant to go that way? Yeah, there we go. So, I might not be able to play The Old Republic every day, because I still get people messaging me saying, Hey, can you come back and replay Fiesta? Can you come back and replay Rift? Can you come back and replay every game I've played? I probably get a chance to actually play about four or five hours a week, and that four or five hours a week is spread across every game. Every one. It's insane. I do not get a chance to deep dive into the game. So, like, if someone sent me a party hat on RuneScape 3, I would be like, oh, thanks. It's going to stay in the bank for the next five years. It's, it's just going to be there. That's all it would be. So, I, I wouldn't be able to appreciate your kind gifts, if that makes sense. Yes, it is my job. My job to play the games. And if I want to play the games for fun, and I do sometimes, I tend to play off stream with a small Discord chat. And we've recently been replaying Guild Wars 1. You know, I enjoy that. Can you come back and play Guild Wars? I would love to play Guild Wars 1 again. Guild Wars 1 is... Guild Wars 1 is one of the few games that I make sure I play off stream. What does a Josh workday look like? I can tell you, actually, um, depending on what I'm doing. The workday looks a bit different depending on whether I'm playing a worst MMO or I'm doing a was it good review. But basically what I do, I'll, I'll turn the computer on, I'll download a game, and I've got a notebook. And I've got... When I say I've got pens, I mean I go through about a pack of pens a week. Uh, I go through more pens now than I did when I was in university. I go through a pack of pens a week, and I play a game, and as I'm playing the game, I make extensive notes. So this notebook is, is pretty much just entirely filled with notes. But every single note is just one line. So, for example, I can tell you the notes that I've been making for this game. Um, okay, so login equals story recap which reminded me that when i turned the game back on after i came back from lunch a little thing comes up and saying the smuggler or the agent and reminds you where you are in the game which is a lovely narrative recap but i didn't deem it important enough to include within the 45 minutes um need patience is free bounty hunter group encounter place a buck but we don't skavek just a car sector map opaque slash transparent on movement uh, informant kidnap save him story walk shout repeat rescue destroy eight cameras just a car working with Empire, question mark, just one ship, the works, in brackets, make book joke, uh, bounty hunter trio, 30 boss, uh, find Skavik, runs off, ruby deal, police show up, shoot out. I basically just write down every single thing that happens to me. So, when I'm playing an MMO to critique, to analyse, I'm not... What was the book joke? The book joke was that the sewer is called the works, and in the UK, we have a discount bookstore called The Works. So I was thinking like, hey, you know, so he's in The Works. Oh, let's make a joke about the bookstore there because like a few people will get it. When I am playing a game to analyse, I don't have chance... I, I'm not able to zone out. You know when you zone out and you just enjoy a game and you, like, three hours later, you're like, oh my god, that was amazing. I can't zone out. I need to keep being aware and bringing myself back to, you know, analysis every 20 or 30 seconds. So it's not so much that I just get to sit and play a game for eight hours, it's that I get to experience a piece of media and need to find reasons to critique it for eight hours. 
That's what we try and go to. Uh, by the way, Guild Wars 1 is on sale on Steam and is totally worth getting. Not an ad, not sponsored. It is just legit worth your money. Do I still play Old School RuneScape? I can, as and when. As and when. I do try. I'm going to put uh, another audio filter onto this to make it slightly louder. Okay, so 21 points. Cool. We should have slightly louder desktop audio now. And when the guys talk, it should be a bit louder. Don't waste my time, Sanju. You're lucky to even be here. I got you those scramblers, didn't I? Come on, Kimish. You owe me. Maybe not big time, but you owe me. When's the last time you did an operation for us? What? Come on, we've been over this. Star didn't send out a call for cowards, and neither did the Eagle. Do you think... Hey! Someone finally made it. It's great to meet you in person. Okay. This is the group I was telling you about. I think you'll get along with them real well. Better than I do, hopefully. I was just saying, I don't know you, mate. I don't know you. I don't know who you are. Okay, cool. This is the group I was telling you about. I think you'll get along with them real well. Should I just say it's good to be here, guys? It's it's that Nolan North, probably. Let's just assume that every single NPC is Nolan North and us we know any better. Uh, yeah, I'm, it's good to be here, man. I've been looking forward to meeting your friends. Gamish, this is the guy who got in touch with me after the Eagles broadcast. Said he wanted to join us. Uh-huh. Sandu says he fought the Imperials at Druckenwell. Says the Empire has a bounty on your head. I didn't know you were at Druckenwell. We should talk. Is all that real? You some ace killer looking to get the Empire off Balmora? You sound skeptical. You think I don't live up to my reputation? Maybe I do. Can you blame me? My name's Kemish. These people here, they follow Greystar, our founder. They've been spat on, starved, and punished by the Empire. Now you... You're not from Balmora. You haven't been through what they've been through. Makes me wonder how far I can trust you. Why should I trust you? How about, give me a chance. Just give me a chance, coach. Just put me in once. You don't have to trust me. Let me prove myself. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe you can impress Greystar. There's an abandoned factory not far from here. Used to make droids. But its defenses went haywire when the Empire took over. The place is swarming with rogue security units. It's also full of expensive equipment. Get inside, and there's something I want. Of course. Name it, and it's yours. The Okara Droid Factory produced shielded power cores for stealth droids. I want a case for my people. My people can convert the cores into explosives, plant them around an enemy base, and thanks I want to, be to the that stealth guy. shielding, no one will know Th until That guy looks like He-Man. I swear, look, he looks like He-Man. Just hanging out in the back there. Just Prince Adam, just watching and waiting to see what's going on. He changed his accent. He does. You're a spy. You need to change your accent every now and again, otherwise people catch you. Okay, cool. I'll go now. As soon as you say the word, I can be on my way. Let's be up front. This is a test. So if you fail, don't bother coming back. We'll just kill you. Good luck. And be careful. And that gang the is called the like, Greyhawk. Maybe he's Grey Skull. Maybe that's what he is. Oh, no, he's just hanging out. He's having a good time. Right, okay, cool. We've been assigned to go and steal some stuff from some places. Really, Josh? Speak like an American. No, no. No, I am... Someone's telling me to press Y. I won't. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, for people saying, you know, is, is he voiced by Nathan Drake? Nathan Drake did everything. Nathan Drake, as in Nolan North. I'm pretty sure that Nolan North is Nathan Drake now. He did the footstep sounds. He did the blaster sounds. He did. He did the the ambient noise. The wind was actually just Nolan North standing there with a the microphone, cupping his hands around it, kind of going. That's what it was. He created all of it. The entire sound team. If you poke Nolan North on the ribs, he sounds like a piano. That's how... That's how good at voice acting this guy is. Individual notes he can produce. You hire Nolan North, the reason you do is because you basically just don't want to hire any other part of the orchestra. So much range. That's what it is, right? Be the enemy. Uh, be the enemy is over here. So much range. The man has just vocal range, classical range. So much range. I think there's probably going to be a a taxi thing over there. So I'm going to see if I can grab a taxi from over here and go to that place to the side. 
Hi Josh, was this in the worst MMO? It was, it was the video that just came out. Uh, it did remarkably well, people were happy with it, and I think, this is what I think I try to be impartial with, I think I was fair. If you think I was unfair to your game, feel free to tell me. But I genuinely think I was fair. A lot of people look and they judge it off the title, they say this isn't the worst MMO ever, you know, this isn't this, this isn't that. They, they judge it off five minutes. I've played this game for 50 years and it's the greatest thing in, you know, my entire life. Which is great, but you need... To, and this is, again, a thing about stepping back and objecting, objectively trying to look at something. RuneScape has problems. I... I like RuneScape a lot. But it has problems. Service, I like sir. Guild Wars. It has problems. Lots of games Problem have problems. Is confirmed. You need to just be... As, I try and be as fair as I can with it. And this is what I try and point out. I try and point out good stuff even in the games that I don't like. Even if I'm playing a crap game and I'm, I know it's bad, I try and find one thing I like about it that I can point out. Because that to me is important. You got your fire kit yesterday. Oh, congratulations, Agora. Well done. That is oh, not an easy thing to do, no matter... Everyone will tell you the fire cape's easy. It's not, okay? A fire cape's a difficult thing to do. We need to keep going further this way, but that seems too far. Let's just run. You know what? Let's just let's get our cardio in. Let's just do a little bit of running. We can do some cardio, can't we? It gets better. We RuneScape has a lot of problems. Would you play a From Software game? I don't know what From Software is. What games have they made? Didn't they make Armored Souls? They did, didn't they? They made Armored Souls. That was the uh, the racing game. Yeah, I've played one of those those games before. Uh, Elden Souls and Dark Ring. Yes, 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 I've played those. Uh, Demons Kings. Demons Kings. Field Souls. That was the game they made. I've, uh, I've played a few of those. They were on Game Boy, weren't they? Yes. They were on Game Boy. Rome Total War Remastered or Rome 2 Total War? Neither. If we're going for... RTS games. Whoever played the old real-time strategy game just called Z or Z. Any of you play Z? It's not me. I, I'm sure that I'm not the only person that remembers a game called Z existing. I swear to God I remember that game as a thing. Oh, stealth by the way is like 100% effective in this game. So just stealthing into a mission, doing it and getting out is a completely legitimate strategy. Somewhat maybe somewhat bogged down by the fact that I'm currently just vomiting confetti out of my ghost. I mean, look, I am just... Everywhere I go is leaving confetti. I'm sure some droids are looking and going, no, it's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. I'm sure it's just... Uh, it's, reg it's normal confetti. It's regular ghost confetti. It's one of those natural phenomenons. It's just the wind. It is just the wind. It's Christmas. Right click on the buff. Why would I want to do that? That would get rid of it. I did get hit by a life day bomb. That is very true. Probe droid. Well, I'm sure that'll be fun, but we have not got time for that right now. I am on a super secret mission. And I need to keep doing the super secret mission-y stuff. Now, while I was doing this, I was thinking, I'm probably missing out on quite a lot of... <laughs> the probe droid is just Nola North. I'm probably missing out on lots of experience while doing this. You know, because I'm not killing as many enemies. But I'm kind of okay with that because I'm role-playing. I am role-playing as an agent. As Cypher 9. There's... What I'm worried about is that I'm going to role-play so hard that one day I look in the mirror and I am Nolan North. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to log into any character on any MMO and it's going to turn out that character looks like Nolan North. I'm going to be okay without the group invites for the time being, but thank you for the offer. Uh, those guys are just watching that. I just joined what Cypher 9 like. Did, did, that person, did that thing just die? That thing just blew up because he got too close to that. Okay. Excellent. Maybe that's some visual storytelling. That's awesome, by the way. That is so cool. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, let's just hang around here for a bit. Story gives you loads of XP boost, pretty much. I'm just going to kind of gain a lot of my experience. Yeah, okay, that is visual storytelling. That just zapped those guys. It's telling me, hey, stay away from that big thing. See? 
perfect visual storytelling. It's exactly what it is. Nice and simple. Very effective. Stay away from the big thing. Read some stuff. The environments are amazing. They really are. They really genuinely are. It's called the thing that kills the emperor. <laughs> just that thing just there. Just a massive, huge lightning zap. That's actually where... That's a massive battery for the Sith. That's where the Sith store their Jedi, their, um, their Jedi powers, their lightning powers. I wonder if I could... How many sci-fi references could I throw in that would annoy a lot of sci-fi fans? What's your favourite Star Wars film? What is your... I think mine's First Contact. That was, that was better than Generations. I think First Contact was a much better Star Wars film than Generations was. Just because you got to see the Cylons when they were being attacked and destroyed. And that was interesting. But again, even the Cylons aren't actually anywhere near as scary as the Reavers. They just aren't. Cylons aren't a scary enemy. Reavers absolutely are, because when the Reavers came through the Stargate, that's when kind of, you know, shit really hit the fan. Okay, now let's start doing some actual combat. See if I can remember some of the buttons to press. I've got my uh, dude set to heal. Let me just poison the robot because that makes sense. Yeah, we'll poison the robot. Atlantis was a better Star Wars movie than Star Trek. So the best Star Wars movie was probably Galaxy Quest. I think we can all admit that is an amazing. Movie. Galaxy Quest was both a better Star Trek and Star Wars movie. Poison the oil supply of the robot. Yeah, that works. You just plug a USB drive in with a virus in. Yeah, we'll take that. that that's how this works from now on. Okay, we found the thing. Shielded power cores, we got those. Not the stars I reached you. Sorry about earlier. With Kemish there, I couldn't say a thing. Station Chief Reynold told me you were from Imperial Intelligence, so... I set things up as fast as I could. Anyway, um, Sanju Pine. Guess you know that. Bring me up to speed, Sanju. What's the situation? So, Kimish verified your background. Intelligence did its job. You're fine there. I'm doing my best to find out anything about the cell leader, Grey Star. Maybe you can learn more when Kimish trusts you. That's the plan. Winning over Kimish is the top priority. Right. Well, she's a fanatic, but she respects results. The more you impress her, the more she'll give. There's one other thing. Those power cores you're after, you know what Kimish plans to do with them, right? She's going to attack Sobrik. She'll have some of the new recruits plant the bombs and run, hit the town and the Imperial base. How much damage? Casualties? How many injured, how many dead? Well, how am I supposed to figure that? J just listen. I know a way to disable the power cores so Kimish won't suspect you. There's a machine in the factory that can do it. Run the sealed case through the machine, and the cores will fly. Kemish will see you didn't unlock it. She will assume the cores went bad over the years. Let's sabotage the plan then. It's a risk. But we could save a lot of people. I'm in. Great. I'll send you the machine's coordinates. We can stop a lot of bloodshed. I'll see you when you get back to Troy, okay? Sanju out. That is an excellent Kinda way cute, of putting a choice it? in a game. Kind of stupid too. If he had money, he'd be perfect. Hmm. <laughs> Go for it. Don't let me stand in your way. I never will. Anyway, let's find that machine. Or maybe not. Look, I'm all for killing people, but not all the time. The best way to be completely chaotic is to occasionally just be really nice. That's what we need to do. And we could have just got the cores left and been like, okay, sweet, we've got the cores, we're done now, let's go. But if we can depower them somehow, excellent. Please tell, yes, there is, that's fantastic. There is a shortcut that gets you back to the start of the level that involves dropping off multiple pipes to run back along. That is a really, really good way of doing it. You integrate it into the narrative, into the actual space of the level. You've given me a big puzzle all the way around and given me a shortcut back to the start. That is how you do it Skyrim style, but good. And that's level design right there, level design 101. Parkour is good in this game. Excellent. Uh, I have an outside of MMOs. May I use your likeness for P and P? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Uh, you you may use my image to do whatever you want with. 
and I'm sure someone is rubbing their hands and is already on AliExpress ordering a body pillow, but hey, whatever floats your boat, okay? You, fanfic time, you want to jump on some kind of random Chinese mass production website, buy a load of Ken dolls and replace them with, you know, waistcoats, go for it. You live your best life. You do it. I'm not going to stop you. Just do me a favor. If you ever meet me at like a convention, just bring me one because I think it'd be funny. All right, let's run this, uh, run this box through here. Sweet. Neutralized. And now back into stealth mode. And off we go. See, we've saved people. We have saved people. Carrying around a body pillow of yourself. That would be the ultimate move of confidence, wouldn't it? The ultimate move of confidence. Just a body pillow of you. And just leave it with people. Every now and again. Or if you need to sneak away, leave that in your place. It'd be like almost leaving a dummy of you if you want to get out of a conversation that you don't want to be in. You know, people are talking, you don't want to be there. You can't really find a good time to say goodbye. Everyone's still chatting, so you think... I like how uh, Darth Oza is just kind of hanging out wherever I am, like some creepy force ghost just watching me. I, I like knowing that I'm safe. Yeah, you know, you want to sneak away from a conversation, you just get up, you just gently slip a body pillow version of yourself in, and then you just leave. See? Smooth way out of there. That's how it works. He's always watching, Wazowski. Always watching. What served my on Darth Malgus? My hummus business is a cover for my Josh body pillow business. Don't tell anyone. Well, I wasn't going to tell anyone, but if you fill a body pillow with hummus... How did my life get to this bit? Like, I went to university. What series of decisions did I make that led to me playing a 15-year-old Star Wars game on stream, which allowed me to say, in context, if you fill a body pillow with hummus. There's a lot of decisions. Like, if you were to go backwards, and why is there a load of troopers dancing? Why is there a guy that looks like he's out of Treasure Planet just hanging around? You know what? I'm not going to question the Star Wars community. You know, I'm not going to not going to do it. This is the good timeline. It is, isn't it? It's just the way. This is how it is. This is just how things have happened. Don't question it. Don't it's best not to. Oh good, the nipple cannons are there as well. Yeah, don't question it. It's just a thing that we've got. Uh, this is where we are now. This is where life is. This is where we are. And we're just going with it as best we can. You'll come across the TARDIS any second now. Oh, that would just finally throw all of the sci-fi stuff together, wouldn't it? Right, can we just have a final discussion? Star Trek versus Star Wars. God, they are some speedy boys. They moved away bloody fast just then. Star Trek versus Star Wars. Now, I am on... I If we're only including episode 4, 5, and 6, Star Wars. But... I've got to be real, I'm a Star Trek guy. I'm a next generation guy. I am. Because Riker... That's the whole sentence. That's the full sentence. Because Riker. After, after you've met Riker, everyone feels different. Everyone's life is both pre- and post-Riker. That's how it should work. Right, I am just going to... You know what, I'm going to untrack some of these... Now, I want to do the Be the Enemy. I'm not bothered about those quests being tracked right now. Return to Chemish Ore. That's the one I want. Um, right. Yeah, that's the, the correct one. Cool. Chemish Ore. Where it's are you? All authorized destinations. Chemish Ore is back over here. And I need to go to the workshop A6. Okay. Which is, I think, that one? No, that one just there. Yes. Cool. Okay, cool. Got it. Yeah, people have told me that the game engine isn't great. Is it the hero engine this uses? Because I'm sure a lot of MMOs use the hero engine, don't they? Agent quests are pretty damn good. Right now, all I'm doing is just playing an agent quest there. To me, this is an RPG. I'm not bothered about leveling up the agent. 
I'm bothered. And this, I think, speaks volumes to how good uh, the actual writing is. I'm not bothered about leveling. I'm bothered about progress. Because normally in MMOs, levels are your way of tracking progress. Because you do stuff, level get bigger. But to me, progress in this game is tracked by the actual story, by the characters, by how the world around me changes and how my responsibilities increase or decrease based on how well or you know, not well I do. It's, it's interesting that I'm actually tracking my progress based on the story, not just on how high my level is. Yeah, I like this a lot. If you're going to play the game for the game and not for a video, I'd suggest you sub for a month. I will probably sub for a month at some point. I'll probably get one month sub just to unlock a load of stuff. But I'm enjoying where the story goes to. Back already? Your friend's quick, Sanju. Told you he was good. You tell me a lot of things, but I asked for the stealth droid power cores. If you don't have them, you're wasting my time. I have them. Right here, Kamish. The full crate, all yours. Huh. Looks like you actually made it to the factory. It'll take a minute to get this case open. Sanju, go fetch Pyther and a droid. Okay, see? I think we've got it, Kemish. Crack the case open and let's see if our new friend did the job right. Looks like everything's here. Except... What's this? The readouts say the power cores are fried. What did you do? I followed instructions. I went in there and got the case, like you asked. You don't get to make excuses. Not to me, and definitely not now. Kamish, come on. There are plenty of ways those things could have gone bad. It is suspicious, but power cores are pretty fragile. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bad luck can happen to anyone. Once. Right. I... Right. Do I say then give me a chance, or swear I'm loyal? Lab, thank you very much for the donation. That's remarkably kind of you. Let me just uh, scroll up so I can actually read it. There's a lot of people who've subbed and donated, and I try as hard as I can to catch every single one of them, but it, uh, it pushes the chat up very quickly. Um, but I, I, I'm glad that what I'm doing is entertaining, because I like to think that what I'm doing is just honestly sharing my opinions of games with you that I've made over things. You guys are saying 333. Three, three. Yeah, this is absurd. This is silly. I, I tried. Didn't I? I tried, and she's unhappy. I don't need to put up with this garbage. Listen. Fine. I'll give you one more shot, but you better make this work. You seen the caves in this valley? Dark and cramped, but they make a nice hiding place. Scanners bounce right off them. Go on. I assume you're telling me this for a reason. Greystar set up a training outpost in the caves a while back. Then the Empire started dropping gas bombs on the Republic. The outpost was poisoned. Toxin got into the soil, turned good kids into drooling psychos, and the caves were overrun by our own people. I can take the caves back. Give the word and I'll secure the place for you. Drooling killers or not. You don't think small, do you, huh? Tempting, but no. We're willing to cut our losses, but there's still data on the outpost computers. I want it transmitted out and the systems destroyed. Sanju, get to high ground outside of town. You can pick up the signal with the booster box. Is all that clear? The toxin victims will be after you, but get that data wiped, or we're finished. Wipe some data. Okay, we can do this. Cool. All right, all clear. I know what I'm doing. I'll make it through the caves. Now get out of here. I've got to figure out what we're going to do without those power cores. Right. And we've got a better knife. To equip that better knife right there. You and me? People are going to say, Getting it's good. not a knife, it's a vibro blade. It's not a vibro blade. I've seen Star Wars. I know what they say in the film. It's a laser sword. And I know that because Anakin says it in episode one. Don't at me. Alright? I've seen the film. Are you a Jedi? What makes you say that? I saw your laser sword. Oh, oh, George. George, you're good at making films. Oh, do you think that maybe the first three Star Wars were just really lucky? I'm I'm starting to lean that way. I'm starting to lean toward the fact that the first three Star Wars were just massive flukes. And then people were like, 
All right, George, you've you've hit it out of the park three times. What kind of dialogue are you going to give next? And George looks at them and he's like, I don't like sand. It's coarse and it's green and it gets everywhere. Hey, George, how's the main female character going to die? From literal heartbreak. That's what she's going to do. Hey, George, how should we open the fourth film that people have been waiting like ten years for? Trade negotiations. Playing all authorised destinations. Thanks, Our George. You really are good at this. Oh, he, he's good, isn't he? Good Our old Georgie. Is he's just great. I mean, the same with Indiana Jones. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he can write three films. George Lucas is allowed to write three films in any given franchise. And then when he goes to, hey, I want the fourth, let's just take that back off you there, George. Let's, no, you don't get those anymore. No, you've, you've done three films in a franchise, you know, twice as a pattern. We're seeing it happen now. We're seeing it happen. I mean, Luke was a bit of a freaking idiot in the first film. He literally looked down the barrel of a lightsaber. There's, he picked it up and he's like, that's a laser sword, best look down here. And Obi-Wan is sat there thinking, you're meant to be the saviour. You are meant to save the galaxy and you just looked into a laser sword. You absolute matchstick. That's what's happened. He is, he is not confident in him at all. George was better at making things when people told him no. He was. He was. George was much better at making things when there was someone around to say... So George Lucas, this is the problem. I believe that George Lucas has a lot of ideas. And I've always said this before. The best way to have a good idea is to have lots of ideas. If you have a thousand ideas, chances are one of them would be really good. But 999 will suck and should hopefully never see the light of day. The reason most people never get to make a good thing is because they only ever have one idea and when it's bad they don't continue to have more. What you need to do is have lots of ideas and then find the one that's good but you also need friends that will call you out on the bad ideas and when you have a bad idea you want a group of people around you that can pull you to the side and be like hey hey that idea you've had it's bad don't do that like hey should we put dancing in for the sith yeah that's intimidating <laughs> okay look seriously if imagine imagine you're a rebellion soldier you're fighting the empire you land on an Imperial planet. You've heard legends of the incredibly powerful Sith. And then that, that's what you see coming towards you. I'm going to be honest, I'd be even more scared. Like, you get out, you're a trooper, you lock your blaster, you run forward, you run into some kind of Sith droid orgy. And you're there going, Captain, we weren't prepared for this. The captain's looking back at you going, none of us were prepared for this trooper. None of us. And then you look back and the trooper, he's just grooving away. And the crap, the captain's there going, oh no, oh fuck, oh no. He's a slave to the rhythm. He's been taken over by the Sith spirit of disco. And then the entire planet falls. That's, what's, that's, that, that's what happens. Most people don't know this, but the Empire actually invade via the power of funk and dance. No one. The Empire has never actually fired a single shot. That's what it is. Stormtroopers, you know what they are? They are choreographed laser shows for the dance. That's what it is. They sit down, yeah. they just go into it, they start dancing, the planet's theirs, they show them a good time. That's how they win. What, that's why their aim is so bad. They're not trying to hit you. They're trying to make you groove. What it is, is if you watch, and again, watch Star Wars slowly and you'll see that I'm right. If a stormtrooper shoots at you, they aren't intending to hit you. What they're intending to do is make you kind of dodge. Like, they'll fire on one side. It's not going to hit you anyway. But you'll dodge. And then they'll fire on the other side, and you'll dodge. And they'll do it again. And before you realise, they've actually got you dancing. That's how it works. You know when you, like, shoot a gun at someone's feet and they start hopping around dancing? Stormtroopers are actually very carefully placing shots to make you dance. It's much more complicated than actually trying to hit someone. They are incredible marksmen. They are overtaken by the spirit of Disco. Sir, Sergeant Tadus here for Cypher 9. Got orders from the planetary governor to find you. You're needed at this war conference, Priority Alpha 1. 
You're awfully well informed. I don't remember telling the Balmoran governor about my business. Empire appoints you to run this planet. You keep track of who's slaughtering the resistance. The Dark Council sent an emissary, big time Sith Lord, to personally review the status of the Balmoran occupation. This conference will determine the next stage of the ground campaign. Whole war's about to be decided, and the governor wants your expertise. You mentioned a Sith Lord. This emissary of the Dark Council, what do we know about him? Sith politics aren't my business. One of Darth Maul's servants is what I hear. Don't know anything else. Aside from black level clearance, no one will cause you trouble. Be quick though. They're starting any minute. Thanks. Because this is like... <laughs> this, this thing... This guy is like, agent. Agent, I know you're a secret agent. I'm going to be honest, you're a little bit conspicuous with your entourage, but apart from that, perfectly stealthy. 100% perfectly stealthy. I don't think James Bond ever had an entourage, did he? Right, we're going down this way. We're going to the barracks first, the governor barracks thingy. Oh, it's this way, okay, cool. No, there it goes south. Let's just run south, get some cardio in. We'll get some cardio. Do I have any interest playing Monster Hunter? I do eventually. Eventually. Yeah, I've brought a group so I can... What are you riding? It hasn't loaded. It hasn't loaded, so it just looks like you're doing martial arts kind of horse stance really well. Oh, like that is some kind of aerial yoga. Is that meant to be invisible? Or is it just not loaded for me? Because that elephant tusk mount. Don't ask questions. A Jedi training. Gotcha. <laughs> she is. You're riding one of those joke dog collars. That's what it is. It's. Do you think that they made that and then they were just like, hey, we need to put a mount in the shop, but we really can't be asked to design a mount. Just, just put some reins in there and make the character do the thing. I feel like I'm causing some kind of block some some roadblock like okay i'm just gonna go this way they'll never see it coming will they i like the fact that the the lady in charge of the resistance is going to be like agent did you come alone and i'll be like yeah it's pretty much just me <laughs> just nobody else knows it's just me me a couple of sith lords a few darths a massive feathered chicken this person that's riding the actual ship that Luke jumped off into the Sarlacc pit. And um, Stormfront from the boys is over there. We're all here. Everyone is here to make sure you're all ready. No one... We, we came alone. We came very alone. That's what it is. Hiding into the crowd. Look, the best place to hide a tree is in a forest. That is true. So what I'm doing effectively is I am the tree, but I've brought the forest with me. See? This is like, this is a Sith Lord harem, isn't it? This is a very, I did not expect Star Wars to go in this direction. Can we? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, I like it when there's physics on the roof. This is good. Okay, so it turns out that my strength as an Imperial agent is just to be invisible and have the harem kill everything. Anime harem protagonist. People always go, hey Josh, why don't you group up on games? Uh, this is why, pretty much, because it, it never goes the way you think it's gonna go. And it always ends up with just crazy group of players. I'm gonna be honest, I don't mind it. Because I'm playing... Th if I was playing this... I'll be real with you. If I was playing this for the mechanical challenge, this would obviously ruin that. That's the truth. Because the mechanical challenge is balanced based around kind of one player. Not... Not... Not bringing this with me. Not bringing a gun made of guns. But the fact that I'm playing it for the story means, actually, this works really well. You guys are making this uh, super fun for me. I can just walk through. Your entourage is stealing your experience. I'm not really bothered about experience, to be honest. Not bothered about it at all. I'm going, yeah, this is the Asmongold experience. Uh, you just run through the game, and people look at me and go, 
oh, what, what do you think of Star Wars, The Old Republic? And I'm like, I don't know. It, it looks pretty. What do you think of the combat system? I don't know. I don't know what it's like. I just walked around and stuff died. That's how it works. EA detects spike in player count. There is some poor social media guy going, there's a spike in the player count. Uh, what's Josh up to now? What's happened? I I do hope that some some dev for some unknown MMO one day just gets woken up by a Discord message. I'll be right back. Just seeing that their play account has increased overnight. And they just kind of nod Josh and be like, yeah, there's probably a video on it. Let's go. That's what would have happened. I got a message from the guys that run Meridian 59. And they were like, hey, just so you know, we've made some changes. Uh, the population's got really big. Thanks for the video. Hopefully we'll see you again sometime soon. And that was nice. Because those guys were lovely. You have your own social media guy in every game. I'd be fine with that. I'd be totally okay with that. Resistance Gorilla. What? We're, we're cloaked. You can't fight me, Mr. Resistance Gorilla. Okay, I was cloaked. I was frickin' cloaked just then. And he was like, nah, son. Gonna uncloak you. Right, I'm on fire, so I'll just diagnostic scan myself. Alright, cool. Less fire. I find that when trying to be stealthy, less fire is good. Hang on. We can make a 16-man raid. Josh, we can 16-man the planetary story. 16-man planet... Okay, fine. I will pop back outside... We can 16-man this planetary story. Somehow. If I'm not the raid leader, will I still get the progress for the story? That's an important question. If one of you guys takes lead on the raid, I am more than happy that we can then... Uh, we can then work out how the heck to do this. 16 times the detail. Whoever enters the phase first owns it. Okay, sweet, right, cool. So we've been invited to join a group. The group is massive. Is this the correct group? Join Ver. Okay, Ver, you have done the thing. And I'm guessing, is this the correct raid group that we've just got now? Raid groups can't progress story quests. I see. Right, one of you guys may need to... Let me know. So if I just go into the raid now, like if I just run back into the group, I'm guessing these guys will get dragged in with me. If I just pop back in. There we go. And now I should be able to see a few of you guys come in. I'm guessing that's how it works. It will say under the bar at the top who owns the phase. In this case, it's me. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Right. So now I'm just in here. And we now... Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I mean, this this is going to be a little bit easier. <laughs> Just Oh, enemy reinforcements arriving. Right, it might not be easier. Can we only get four people in? Because right now we've only got four people in. I'm guessing whoever is running this needs to update it to a 16-person thing. Four-person party max. They need to make an ops group, not a normal group. Right, shall we see if we can get... How do we make an ops group? Remove your minion. I can get rid of my minion, that's fine. Dismiss companion. Watch your back. How do we turn it into an ops group? I'll hand outside. I can't chat in the game, so I'm not level 25 yet. So whoever is running the group needs to change it into an ops group. They probably can't make it ops since you are unsubbed. I see. Okay, cool. So, give me group lead. You are lead, Josh. Right, how do I throw to lead? Arish? Guessing I can just go to group and promote to leader. See, I know some things about MMORPGs. Not lots, but some things. You join an ops group. Okay, sweet. So, if I now go in now, should that work? Okay. Okay, there we go. Right, we've got more people joining now. 10 if subbed. And now I'll jump inside. That gives me the arena. And now more people can join. And now you guys should be able to come and join me. I am reinstalling for the first time in six years and I have no idea where I was. Uh, is that vehicle physics? Yes, that has the physics just there. So I'm now in here. 
but why can you guys not join? I am now the ops leader. Someone's going to have to let me know in the chat why they cannot join this phase that I'm currently in. Suggest to invite... Okay, cool, you can suggest invite things. Do I need to cancel this? Your missions will progress in this phase. Do I cancel this phase? Because we've got like an army of people hanging outside. Four-man groups only. You cannot do missions in a raid group. Raid groups cannot enter class phases. Allow access in settings. Okay, cool. Can I go to settings and sort this out? So, preferences. Where are we going for allowing the settings for this? Is there a specific thing? Keybinder, keybindings, controls, generals, socials. Okay. So allow access to same class personal phases. Yep, that should be fine. Uh, group. Anything else we can change? You guys going to have to let me know exactly what this is. Single player or group phase, not an operation phase. Four man max. People are saying four man max with this. So what we might need to do is do like a four man max and then come back and do some other stuff. This attempt to raid the story mission is far more interesting than doing the mission. Thank you for the hot tip about Guild Wars 1 being on sale. It's a good game. It's worth it. It is totally worth it. Go after a world boss instead. Are there any world bosses on this world? I mean, I'll pop back out. If there are some world bosses on this world and we could get there, I'm happy to go and try and do those instead. But you'll have to just tell me where the world boss is and I'll just run after you. You sent me the Lusty Argonian Maid in the mail. Well, in that case, I will read that after stream. All right. I'm going to do that afterwards. Uh, how can we put players into the world and not make him... Go <laughs> how can we put players into the world and not make them gods? Make them deal with smaller problems. Make them deal with smaller issues. Can I invite you to the ops group? Yeah, we'll invite anyone. That's fine. If there is a world boss on this planet somewhere. I'm happy to follow you guys and we can find it. I will accept all the invites. That one's yellow, which means that's important. Nope. Apparently it's not. If I click take all, does that also give me... Oh, that doesn't give me other people's stuff, does it? As silly as this sounds, it doesn't give me, like, their credits. No, you can't take that. Please. It just sounded silly. I just thought, why would I be taking other people's stuff? Uh, there is one It's far away from where you are right now. If it's far away, we'll take a taxi. Not a problem. I can jump in the taxi. There's a, there's a taxi somewhere. Maybe. Possibly. If not, we'll just go this way for a bit. I'm going to try and do... I'm going to try and kill one enemy. That's all I'm going to try and do. Just literally one enemy. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I got one enemy. You guys, you couldn't even stop me doing that. Couldn't even stop me. One enemy. It's literally all I got. Right. Uh, you are, you're a great secret agent. I am, actually. Uh, let me explain why I'm a great secret agent. I'm a great secret agent because if you were after one secret agent and you saw this coming at you, you would, you'd stop looking for the secret agent and you'd start being terrified of the massive group of Sith and droids around you. That's what would happen. This is the best way to be stealthy. No one's looking for you in this mass of people. Okay, I think we go up and around to there. Where it weekly? Heroic mission? Can we do... What can we do a 16 group raid in? And remember, I'm only level 18. Can I even do a 16 person thing? Let me know. Is there anything in the game that I can even do? 16 person things. Because if there isn't, that's fine. Not a raid. World boss. Okay, cool. World boss we can do. World, go for the world boss. Where is the world boss? Let me know where the world boss is and I will try my best to find it. Yeah, i got some shooting stuff going on. Is it scaling you guys down to this level or are you guys like super OP while we are here? Anonymous Gifter, thank you for giving out some subs. You are the boss of your own world. Oh, if only I could find everyone else. Far left of the map. Scales down. Far left. So we're talking like over there. Uh, 
Oh, let's just run far left then. Run left. Ah, so it scales down, I see. Brilliant, so the guys that are with me aren't going to be OP. Very west of this map is the world boss. Just follow, come all the way to the left. All the way to the left it is, guys. Now, I'm going to do this in stealth. And I'm aware that being in stealth slows my speed down to 85% of my regular speed. And I'm also aware that you're on mounts, which means you go a lot faster. But we're role-playing this. I am role-playing, that's what I'm doing. Thank you for the content you make. You are more than welcome. Made me understand why I was so bored and quit WoW. World of Warcraft is such a different experience within the MMO world. The fact that it hit the numbers that it did, the fact that it's so, so popular. It's. Do you think World of Warcraft has skewed the numbers slightly? Because people go, oh, you don't have a million players, you're a dead game. You can be a very alive game without necessarily having a million players. Take a summon to the boss. Is there a way that you can summon someone else to the boss? That was cool. That, that massive cannon just moved and shot something. Yes. Will I play Wrath of the Lich King Classic? Uh, no, I don't want to give Blizzard any money. So, sorry. I'm, if you enjoy it, that's fine. That's your prerogative. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong for enjoying it. Uh, but I personally just don't like the idea of giving Blizzard money anymore. Use the taxi. No. I'm going to run. Okay, I will, I will use the taxi, but because I want to. Uh, no, in all seriousness, I just don't want to... I don't I don't feel comfortable service, giving sir. Blizzard money now. I know the game is fine. It's probably a good experience. Most of you guys are going to have a, a great time. But, uh, but no. You're a stronger man than me. I hate Blizzard, but love classic. A lot of people, and this again is something that a lot of the average viewers just can't understand. The amount of people who actually care about the behind-the-scenes goings-on of a game or a game company or an MMO or the financials or the politics is remarkably small. Most people don't care. The average gamer will buy a game, play it, move on to another game. That's it. They won't care about the behind the scenes. They won't care about anything else. That's what they'll do. It's minuscule. If every single angry, if every single angry person on Reddit, on Discord, on clans, in guilds, if everyone who absolutely hated Call of Duty and thought Call of Duty was the worst shooter ever. If everyone who spent any amount of effort actively complaining about the game quit tomorrow, they wouldn't even notice. That's how many people play games and don't actually get involved in kind of the subculture outside of the games, if you will. They just don't care. They would not notice. Have I gone to the wrong place? I may have done. I may have gone to entirely the wrong place here. Uh, continue left until you see a giant open zone. Okie dokie. Continuing left until we see a giant open zone. Yeah, most people just don't care. Is this first time playthrough? Yes, it is. Most people do not care about the politics behind games. They really don't. Oh, oh, this looks a little bit ominous. This looks like an ominous puddle. The Stillwater Eustery, or Estuary, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I'm going to kill this marsh stalker. Oh, that's it. Oh, hang on, because this is level scaled down to 22, does that mean that the boss is actually going to be somewhat difficult still? Because, uh... Ah, right, guys, I've got this, don't worry. You guys hang out there, I'll sort this out. All right, where's the boss? I don't know what you're doing over there on the... Uh, on the side, guys. I'm, I'm out here hunting it. I bet it's you, isn't it? Grandfather, heroic world boss. Come here. Come here. I'm going to stealth stab you in the ass. Come here, you. Poke. Yeah. See? I'm going to stab you. Shank you with my little shanky blade. Easy. Easy. GG. Okay, it's actually quite hard. All right, quite. It's, it's got a lot of health. I didn't realise that. Okay, right. I I thought it would be easier than this. I'm still going to stab it from behind. All right, you guys take the brunt of its attacks. I'm just going to stab it in the arse. This is what I call the Dark Souls strategy. That's it. This is the the stab it in the butt strategy. If there was a roll, you bet your ass I'd be rolling. 
There we see. Oh, Minerva has been defeated. Someone died. Who's the healer? Oh, that's me. Hang on. I'll, I'll start healing people. Hang on, just let me. I'll do my job. I've got some kind of scanny thing. I think I can heal. Yeah, I'll, I'll just start healing some stuff. Throw some grenades. He's halfway down. This is fun. This is fun. Don't worry about it. But that heal does nothing. Um, I think you'll find you're wrong. That heal actually does 135 over 3 seconds. I thank you very much. 135 over 3 seconds. That's how much it helps. You know how much health I've got? Uh, 2,483. So it would heal roughly 8% of you. Literally garbage heal. I do... Yeah, I do remember that I was in a couple of dungeons and I was trying to heal people and people were looking at me funny. Maybe now I realise that, that they were looking at me funny because I was doing a bad job. It's a shame that I can't stealth in the middle of this. Just stab it in. Did I actually get the stab? Like... was did, did I just stab a massive thing in the arse to death? I think I actually did. All right, that's why you're here. That is what we're talking about, up the arse. See, that's what Star Wars is about. It's about stabbing aliens in the butt. Although, to be fair, that's probably what the first season of Star Trek was about with Kirk, but we did well. We did very well, see? How good we are. Look at how we always has been. We did it. I just stole the kill. We've got the Princess Leia bikini going on right there. We've got someone having a bath. That's fine. You have not stopped grooving. Vayrith literally is a slave to the rhythm. We have got uh, an extra from Pirates of the Caribbean. We've got uh, over here, we've got Boba Fett just having a bit of a chill out. And a Power Ranger. You look like a Power Rangers villain. What? This is a, a very... Oh god, you literally can't not dance, can you? Is there a world boss on every world? Is there a world boss on every planet? Because... Okay. I've got a plan. Why don't we go and do every world boss on every planet? Okay. Let's... Is there another world boss? Or is this just the one world boss for this one? Is this the only world boss for this one? Are there more? The murder tour. Okay. Murder tour it is. Right, so this was the big boss for this planet, but that means there is, or there are more bosses on other planets. Voss might be difficult. Eh, it's fine. We'll be okay. We'll travel somewhere else. Let's go to another planet. You can't get to every world yet. I can't get to every world, but I can get to some worlds, and that's what's important. You know what I'll do, guys? I will travel off to a world. I'll pop back to my ship. I'll let you know where we're going. And then we can, uh, yeah, Drum and Cass. We can go to Drum and Cass if people are saying Drum and Cass. I don't mind, uh, mind popping off over there. We'll jump up. I mean, look, look at these guys. How are you two doing, men? Lieutenant, keep an eye out for anything suspicious, Lieutenant. Nothing suspicious here. This is just a totally normal harem of players coming through. It's okay, Imperial soldiers. You didn't see anything. It's fine. Stealth. Good job holding the border, guys. Yeah, good job. Don't worry, we're sanctioned. Sanctioned by the Sith. It's fine. Right, let's go to the spaceport. Some of you guys said that the Drom and Cass might be a bit difficult. And the Drom and Cass might be difficult because... Oh, where's the spaceport? I'm going to guess the spaceport is there. And then just... Everything in order. Everything is in order. That looked like a spaceport to me. Some of you are there going, he's starting to understand. He's starting to understand Star Wars. I've always understood Star Wars. It's about seeking out new life and new civilizations, boldly going where no man has gone before. And then there was like a gate, a little circle thing with runes around the edge of it, and then some aliens took over. And then the, um, the Imperial ship, the Dortmunder, caught the little tiny firefly ship and you get it. You know what's happening. He's learning. Drom and Cass is easy. I'm going to solo it. This is basically No Man's Sky. Star Wars was actually inspired in many ways by No Man's Sky. I think No Man's Sky released a bit earlier. No Man's Sky released in 
want to say 1922 and then Star Trek The Next Generation came out and then Star Trek The Original Series Star Trek The Next Generation actually did the same thing that Star Wars did was it brought out series 4, 5 and 6 and then went back and went series 1, 2 and 3 it's explaining it to a non-sci-fi guy takes a bit but I understand that everyone in the in the chat gets it there's someone in the chat right now and their ears are bleeding they're trying what they're trying to do and this is the mistake they're trying to make sense of what I'm saying and that isn't going to work don't don't do that don't forget when they use the red dwarf to blow up the planet don't okay look don't try and trick me okay because you think that I'm gonna say red dwarf is that TV show I'm not an idiot all right red dwarf is the Warhammer magazine See, don't try and pull one past me. I know what I'm on about. Right, where's the ship? Uh, this, the Imperial agent hangers down there and to the right. How many people in the chat right now are really unhappy? And they're like, actually, the Warhammer magazine's called White Dwarf? Uh, no. No, the Warhammer magazine, I think, was called... Um, the Nostromo. That's what it was called. Let's go to the agent hangar. Oh, when they used the Sarlacc pit on Gallifrey to get rid of the Reavers and the Reapers. They did. And then it turns out that unfortunately the Sarlacc pit was too big and uh, it caused a mass effect on everyone else. That's what happened. Why is Zuriel there as well? Oh, are you also an operative? That makes sense. Because operatives can all be here, can't they? It hurts <laughs> so good. People are like, yeah, speak sci-fi to me. Speak wrong sci-fi. Ah, oh, right, okay, Drum and Cass. We're off to Drum and Cass. Mega effect. Mega effect. That's what it is. Don't donate money to this. You deserve better than this. I mean, I appreciate the donation, but value yourself higher than the entertainment I'm providing. Oh, thank you for the donation. More Star Wars. I just saw the video. Thank you. Love the content. Your videos, uh, me and my friends. Old school MMOs. Have you played Project Gorgon? I haven't yet, but it's on the list. It's on the list. You know what the best thing about MMOs is? It's this. How much progress we're we making right now? Absolutely goddamn none. But what we're doing is, I am flying inefficiently by running... I could have used the galaxy map. I could have. I'm not going to. I could have done that, but I'm walking all the way, and we're going to go to Drom and Cass. And I'm going to travel over, and I'm going to watch the actual intro as this moves around. Because we are not playing. We are not playing efficiently whatsoever. Really. The best thing about MMOs is just messing around with your friends. That's what it is. Remember when Master Chief fought the Predator? I do! That was a good one. And then the aliens showed up, and then the Event Horizon got sucked into the black hole. That's what happened. The best thing about MMOs, because a couple of days ago I was doing what I call MMO Doom Scrolling. I loaded up a game, I ran around for a bit, I logged out. I loaded up another game, I ran around for a bit, I logged out. I did this for like 10 games. MMO Doom Scrolling. You ever logged in and just thought, eh. And one of the worst things is, I want to say to my friends, hey, why don't you come and join me on whatever game? And they'll say, yeah, cool, can I play with you? And that's when you've got to say to them, no, you've got to put about 300 hours worth of gameplay in before you can get to me. But when you do get to me, it might be fun. And then I thought, what MMOs are there that I can just have a friend download and play with them immediately? What games are there that I can just get a friend to jump in and after maybe an hour, after they've done all the basic stuff, they will actually start enjoying it? And I thought, Guild Wars 2 is a good example of that. You download it, you're pretty simple, on, pretty fast. Guild Wars 1, I think, is a good example. RuneScape is okay, but RuneScape, unless they are the same level as you, they can't do the same kind of content, the same kind of enemy content or skilling content. Um, Elder Scrolls Online is pretty good at it. Warframe is good at it as well. Earth 2. I mean, yeah, if you both want to just sit there and set money on fire... That, I suppose, you could do that. That would work as well. I mean, Dream World, if we're throwing it in, that might work. But there's, yeah, anything if you make a new character. So you know what I did? 
I made a new character on Guild Wars 1. I started just doing the pre-searing, running around, and I said to my friends, hey, why don't you make characters on um, on Star Wars? Why don't you make some characters on the Old Republic and we'll just do some story missions together? I would completely recommend people play this game just for the story and just to play it with someone else. Don't play the Old Republic as an MMO. Don't play it to finish it. Find a friend or you know, find some time for yourself and just play it through together. Just the stories. Choose different classes, play it through together. Find which classes start on the same planet and just play bits through. Have like a sci-fi adventure. That's the kind of stuff that we need to be doing. Right, so where are we going for the world boss on Drummond Cass? Main monitor content while I ate this Swiss roll. I love Swiss rolls. What's my favourite 40k lore? My favourite 40k lore is that one of the orc captains started a crusade because he liked an inquisitor's hat. You can read that. It's on, um, it is completely, completely in, in Wattipedia. There was an orc warband, a, a leader of like an orc massive huge ship with hundreds of thousands of orcs behind him. And one day he happened to meet an Imperial Inquisitor, like a witch hunter, who had an absolutely terrific kind of witch hunter style hat. And the Orc said, I want your hat. And the Imperial Inquisitor went, no. And so the Orc threw the full force of like hundreds of thousands of Orcs under his command and launched a war or a war just to get that hat. He still hasn't got it, but that is his whole thing. So if I ever play Orcs in 40k, that is my motivation. My orc once saw a space marine inquisitor with a really impressive hat and now wants the hat. Right, okay, cool. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going to? We've got the, uh, got the transport thing. I need to know where I'm going. Bottom right. Okay, all the way down there. So I'm guessing we're going to this one. Enjoy your stay. Sweet. I'll go this way. Is this game worth trying? Yes, for the stories alone. Farming for fashion, but in 40k. If it's further down, I haven't unlocked any further down ones, unfortunately. Orc makes me feel so much better. Pretty much. This is, yeah, this is a search for That orc is playing a game like it's an MMO. That's what they're doing. What is my 40k army? I've got the Death Watch from Space Marines. I've got the Ultramarines, because I am a basic bitch. And I've got some Tau, because someone once gave me some Tau for free. That's pretty much it. Just ended the Star Wars tour video. Nice job, mate. Warm thanks. You are more than welcome. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad we are here to enjoy this together. Every now and again when I'm thinking, I don't fancy getting involved in the story of an MMO, but I do fancy having like a murder party. I'm just going to let you guys know that I'm streaming. We'll get a couple of people together. We'll just go ham on some world bosses. It would work really well for Guild Wars 2. And it would work exceptionally well for the Elder Scrolls Online. That's what it would be. We could have a mass in RuneScape at some point. And which of those armies is painted? It's not about... That's... That's actually a very rude thing to ask someone. I, I don't... I don't feel comfortable answering that question. Because that it's a very... Per, some of them, alright? Some of them. Some of the Ultramarines are painted blue. And I will tell you why they're painted blue, because you can buy blue spray paint. That's... some of them are blue. Not all of them. Some of the Necrons are painted metal. Okay, this is the best answer to any question. Uh, head south, plus turn left after the bridge. Sweet, can do. No Tau. No, they haven't yet made uh, Tau spray paint. I like the Tau in the orange colour, the original ones. Paint your... okay, right. I'm going to shock you now, actually. I'm going to actually shock you. Because, you know, as funny as the joke is, <laughs> as funny as it is, all of the Death Watch are painted. Not only are they all painted, they all have different coloured shoulder pads. Because the point of the Death Watch is that all of them come originally from different actual chapters. And not only have I painted them all properly, I've painted all the chapters correctly on them. They are all fully based. And, and, so, okay, look, 
Death Watch squad, times five. All the squads here have one bike, one terminator, one jump captain, five regular marines, they've all got storm shields and they've all got storm bolters because these are what you see is what you get. That is a five squad of Death Watch fully modelled in WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Fully painted up, ready to go, tournament standard. And I'll tell you why. It's because Death Watch, when I played them, were really, really good. Because they had Storm Bolters, which fired twice at short range, but then they had Rapid Fire. But then you could also take the perk that made you fire twice, so they fired four times. Which was really good with Bolter Discipline, because you would then get Rapid Fire at full range. Oh, I knew what I was doing. So I would be putting out 40 shots from a five-man squad, but then they all had Storm Shield, so they all had three up invulnerable saves, and you had a Terminator, and because it was Death Watch, you could assign individual wounds to those guys. So, if it was a regular save, stick it on the Terminator at 2+, if it's not a regular save, stick it on the invulnerables at 3+, but then you also get a bike. If you don't play 40k, I understand that you might be a bit confused by this, but I'm going to keep going anyway. The bikes allow you to fall back and charge at the same time. So, you charge in, you fall back, you charge, and because you're playing the Death Watch, you can shoot in close combat while you charge as well. Basically, it was a broken build of Death Watch for a bit. That's what it was. It was just so bloody powerful. What are we killing on this world? Because I've got the murder squad with me. People are like, what do you want about? <laughs> you made those words up. You made all of those words up. Now, if you were to ever play 40k against me with my Death Watch army, I would be bringing out books and books and books and books. And I would be... I'll tell you why I built it. I built it because I don't like playing against people who go, actually. So I thought, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to build a ridiculously unfair army, and I'm going to have all the books to back it up, and I'm only going to get this army out when you're being a dick. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, cool. You guys are a bit you're a bit worried, don't worry about it. I'm here. Okay, time to go stealth. I'm gonna stab it in the arse. Alright, the first. Don't you worry, I've got a knife on me. It's alright, we're all good. We're doing good. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, if you want to play Warhammer with me, I will play a silly build against you of just regular space marines. And if you what I like about Warhammer is I like how we're talking about Warhammer characters are just killing a world boss in uh, the old world. What I like is, I like rules, because this is just silly, it's plastic man on a tabletop, guys. It's plastic man on a tabletop. So, if I'm playing with someone, and you've got a dude, and he's in cover, and you say to me, hey, can, can I, um, can I kind of pop out over the cover and shoot you? Like, of course you can. That makes full narrative sense. I want that to happen. And when I shoot back at you, you can get the benefits of cover, because that, once again, makes full narrative sense. I want the game to make narrative sense and be silly and be funny. I don't want someone getting out five rule books and going, well, actually, we have this and this and this and this and this. Yeah, it's super complicated stuff. I want people to have fun with it. That's what I want. Have fun and be silly. Speak louder. Oh, was it too loud? Was the game a bit loud? Game sounds too high. Okay, cool. Don't worry. I'll start the entire Warhammer conversation again. We'll go all the way back to the start. Ooh, nice. Provided rewards. Fleet requisition legacy. Binds to legacy. Uh, Warzone adrenal. Medium section of crafting. And 10k something. Sweet. Mission complete. Rewards of the Gree. We'll take those as well. Must make more room in inventory. Can I expand inventory? I require credits. I will get credits by selling stuff. Grants 400 fleet requisition for use in Galactic Starfighter. I guess I'm going to just use that. That works. Um, how much is pending? Okay, so you need four spaces. What don't I need? You look crap, so let's throw you away. Secure trade. Only subscribers and preferred status may participate in secured trade. Become a subscriber or preferred status to begin trading. You cannot trade, apparently, if you are a free player. Fantastic. No, it's fine. We'll sort it out later. I'm just going to throw some stuff away. It's okay. Make use of the streamer bonus. No, I'm just going to throw some crap away. 
Uh, just want to destroy some of this stuff. Uh, I'm not going to open that. Contains grade 11 materials. I don't want to open stuff. Don't need that. Let me throw away four things, four crap things, and then I'll accept this. Sweet, that'll do. 25k credit certificate. Redeem any repu reputable trader. You can dismantle, dismantle, dismantle. No. No, I'm not going to. Oh yeah, the boss loot. Did the boss drop some stuff? What did they drop? Uh, advanced Commando Armoring 5. Binds on equip. Command companion thing. Uh, let me throw away some trousers. And I will instead take that. I don't know if it's good, but I've got it. So thanks. Alright, cool. That was another boss down. That was another boss done. Where next? Okay, Josh, we can pull you to every planet to kill world bosses. Do it. Do it. Let's do this. Okay, murder hobo time. Let's just travel around. It is safe to say that I carried that boss fight. Without me, that boss fight, he wouldn't have gone down. I was the healer. I was the, I was the cheerleader. Mostly. Mostly just the cheerleader. Right. Uh, yeah, you guys move to wherever you want to and just grab me and pull me, pull me stuff. If you guys want to travel around to A to B and just pull me with you, I will happily go on a, a tour, if you will, of the game. We will go on a tour. We can do the tour. Hi, Josh. I found you cuss of Asmon gold. I'm glad. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you'll have a lovely day. If you want to play some Star Wars The Old Republic, feel free to jump on as well. We've got a little... Uh, Little group going on, little murder hobo group as we travel around the galaxy, killing indiscriminately. It's a good thing I played as the Sith because this works for it. This really works well. Real leaders lead from the back. They do. They they do. You know, you've seen that meme of you know uh, a boss sits at the back, whipping his employees to go faster, and a leader is at the front, pulling the sled along with people. Okay, no, no, a real. A real leader. You know what they're doing? Is they just they just hang around and wait for other people to do it for them. That's what I've been taught. That's what I've seen in that works in business, doesn't it? That's how all big business goes on. Someone said something to me interesting. They said, Oh, Elon Musk, he works full time. Elon Musk works sixty hours a week. I went, Okay. He's a CEO of three companies, which means even if he did work sixty hours a week, He's working part-time at all of them. Which means he's still doing part-time jobs for everything he works at. People always go, yeah, if you want to work hard, you know, you, you've got to put 60 hours a week into this company. He's not doing that. Can you make a reaction video about new Asmongol video about reaction content? Oh, has Asmongol put out a video about reaction content? What has he reacted to recently? Has he put it on stream or is it on YouTube now? Let me just load the YouTube up and see what he's reacted to again. I'm sure it'll be something else. He is also... Is he reacting now? React time. I'm not going to react right now, but I'm always curious. Is it a clip or is it on Twitch? Is it a clip or is it a Twitchy thingy? Oh, the thing's respawned. Hang on, let me stab it in the arse. I'm here. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'll keep pressing 1. There we go. I'm going to keep pressing 1. It's fine. It's on my phone. That's fine. This is good, see? This is easy. This is easy. It's not Asmogol Clips. It's Asmogol TV, isn't it? Hang on. Let's see if there's another thing. I'll press 1 on the keyboard occasionally. <laughs> I'll run out the damage. There we go. Oh, no. That's not him. No, that uh, screenshot was fake, by the way. That screenshot of, you know, reaction content is being demonetized by YouTube. No, it's not. There is no... I googled it. There is absolutely no um, news article written like that at all. There's nothing there. There is nothing there at all. Just put all the nodding birds down. Yeah, I'll just keep pressing 1. Occasionally, I'll throw a grenade. I'll poison it. That's what I'll do. See, it's poisoned, guys. I'm going to stab it. Can you imagine getting last hit again? Oh. 
Experience changes. Free to play players begin gaining reduced experience and valor points at level 20. That's a bit shit. Uh, experience reductions can be offset using experience boost items found in the cartel market. That's not good, is it? Ah, oh, that's not good. I appreciate your story. I don't appreciate the uh, the general way that you've said, "Hey, stop having fun now. Stop it. That's too much fun." You're not allowed. It means that up until now, you were receiving the extra 20% that subs get. There is a psychological thing with players. People love being given stuff. People hate having stuff taken away from them. So giving someone something feels good. Taking something away feels bad. Even if the end result actually puts that person into the same position they were at. So giving everyone 20% boosted stuff from the start... And then taking that 20% away feels a bit shit when you get it taken away from you. But if you don't give anyone that boost and say, hey, if you sub, you get boosted 20% experience, that feels better because you're not actually taking anything away that players previously had. You're just giving them something new if they pay. Yeah. Losing feels bad. Winning and gaining feels good. You don't want... You don't want the player to feel that they have to pay money to get to, like, the base level. You want them to feel that when they pay, they're getting more. They're getting advanced. They're getting bonuses. That kind of stuff. Right, where's the next uh, Where's the next planet, guys? Did you guys say you were going to travel off to a planet somewhere and then you would drag me with you? Can you, like, teleport me to you? Because I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. I'm more than happy to do that if we need to. If you want to teleport off to a planet somewhere and just be like, you know, drag me with you now. Yeah, they can summon. Guys, do it. You head to a planet and you summon the rest of us. Am I ever returning to Warcraft? I don't know. Um, oh, hang on. Offered you flagship transportation to their coordinates at Tatooine. Sweet. I'm going to assume it's there. Left side of the screen, thank you. I'm more than happy to sit down and chat about Warcraft again, but I want to make sure that we have something important to chat about. It would need to be, you know, something that matters. I wouldn't want to just be on there for the sake of being on there. I want to be on there with a purpose. Oh, it's sand. I hate sand. Coarse. And it's grainy. And it... it wh what does it get, guys? Where does sand get? One of you is going to have to say it. It gets everywhere. It really does. Okay, cool. Um, hey, Josh, did you accept the mission? Did you accept the mission? Uh, no. I don't have any missions specifically. Are we just waiting around here for a big a big sand boss to appear? Do I need to accept something specifically, or is the boss just going to appear? Is it that thing? Sand skimmer. No, that can't be a boss, can it? That's not a boss. I'm a sci-fi expert. This is where giant worms come from. Be careful. Ah, yes, I've seen sci-fi stuff before. What is that? Ah, yes, the uh, that is the classic sand anus, as, as demonstrated there by Diggle, being birthed from the sand butt. Yes. Yes, it's, it's good. Imagine someone joining the stream right now. 3,000 people join. The first thing they see is, yes, welcome to the desert anus. The uh, the birthplace of of Sunwalker right here, contraband collector, collecting the contraband from deep within the sand butt. So when does the interesting looking skull? It's a pretty interesting looking skull. What's this all about? I don't know what you're gonna find here. Oh goodness me, the world is shaking. Now it's oh that's pretty big. Is that it? Oh, heroic world boss. Guys, I've got this. Don't worry. It's fine. It's distraction. Interrupts the attack. Yep, there we go. Distracted it. Threw something at it. Stab it. Stab it in the butt. In the butt. There we go. I am liking this, though. This is quite fun. It's a Rancor. No, it's not a Rancor. Because it's not a one-cost green enchantment. That gives something trample. 
that goes back to your hand whenever the creature with Rancor on it would go to the graveyard. That is a Star Wars beast. That's what that is. Okay, don't be bringing Magic the Gathering into this. We've already had Warhammer. You can't just keep bringing franchises in like this. Urza nods in approval. It's just... I feel like I'm helping. I don't think I am. But I feel like I am. I've got a little tiny blaster here. Occasionally just stab it. I'm not helping that much. I could be helping more. I feel that I could be doing more to help. It's fine, don't worry. We're okay. I'm here for moral support more than anything. How old am I? I'm at least 20. Let's go with that. It's a demon of corn. It is. Maybe this is best for the party. Maybe, yeah, maybe this is best for everyone. This is what should happen more. It's, it's better this way. The rogue can stay dead. It's better this way. I said that once in an old video, and I stand by it. Uh, Josh, check your missions. Um, item modification, mercy killer, make your way on the thingy, closing the deal. No, just Balmora, tutorial. I've still not done my item modification mission. I haven't done that yet. Maybe one day. It's good. I, I feel that I helped with this. What I like is these little tiny kind of like... You got snowflake. There we go. Sweet. So fantastic. And now someone's going to revive me. Thanks, Lord. Just accept the revive. Pop back up. It was all me, baby. What did we get? Okay, cool. Advanced Might Hilt. Binds on equip, companion thingy. Alright, cool. I don't know if it's good. Don't know if it's bad. But we got a thing. We gained something. Control plus click to preview. Oh yeah, you can do that, can't you? Control click to preview it. Where is it? Oh, I didn't pick it up because I had no space. Let's get rid of these trousers. Who needs these trousers? These trousers are stupid. Let's pick up that instead. And then... Where was it? Is it control click? This item cannot be previewed. Okay. We cannot preview this. Why do I feel Josh is not playing seriously? Because it's almost impossible to play an MMO seriously when also streaming it. Because everyone is going to jump on and it's going to be uh, a big, silly, kind of fun group mess like this. Which I enjoy. But of course it means that when I play an MMO seriously, when I'm going through the Imperial storyline, I will be sat there focusing, listening, making decisions, kind of reading and really getting into it. That kind of gameplay is not entertaining to an audience. It's entertaining to me because I'm going through the gameplay, but it's not entertaining to an audience. This is entertaining to an audience and this is vastly fun for me as well. I enjoy this a lot. You won't min-max to world first. I won't. I won't. We'll get... Then jump into the pit. Can you jump into the pit? Is there a Sarlacc pit over here? I kind of wish there was. Anyway, I think I need... He's sacrificing his experience for us. There is a Sarlacc pit. Where is it? Where's the Sarlacc pit? I need to find it. Where is the Sarlacc pit? Is it on this planet? Upper part of the map. I mean, it's a desert, so I'm just going to run up. Like, it's not going to be... It's not going to... Stuff. Can I summon via raid crew? Probably. People are like, to the Sarlacc pit. Someone else says, wait. No time to wait. We are running to the Sarlacc pit. Real problem is it's too easy to stun lock with random subjects. It is. You can just mention anything and I will just go off on a tangent about that. We're going to run to the Sarlacc pit and jump in. That is my plan. We are going to run all the way north just to see what happens. There is a Sarlacc pit to enter. I'll watch the Asmongol video about his opinion on React content, but I think I've made my opinion on React content pretty pretty clear. People have said, you know, it's good, it's bad, it's this, it's that, it's the other. The main concern that I have about React content is that as a content creator, creating React content is much easier than creating original content. 
and if I want to grow my channel to a level you know far beyond what I've currently got I need to create content faster and that seems to be the most direct answer that's what it is a lot of people in the chat in the comments on that clip on Visa's channel were like they were against it they were for it they they hated it they, they understood it they didn't understand it ultimately it boils down to this if I follow the rule of the highest numbers I need to do react content but doing that will mean no more worst MMO ever episodes because they take two to three days, three to four days for the longer ones to produce. No more was it good because I have to finish the entire game to get the footage to do that. It would mean that I wouldn't bother making any more opinion videos, MMO opinions. I wouldn't make any more of discussing the, the psychology of it. I wouldn't make any more discussing uh, anything, really. If If I want to just get the highest possible numbers then doing react content makes sense and doing that would mean losing everything else yeah and i don't know if i'm ready to do that why don't you and callum make an agreement to comment on each other's videos we do we do i mean me and callum support each other kind of unequivocally i think he's a, a phenomenally talented creator you look at the late callum's latest video when he's chronicled dreamworld will i have fun though Ark, it's not about whether I will have fun or not. It's about whether I would be able to, you know, pay off all of my family's debts. It's about whether I would be able to give my friends and family a nice life. It's about whether I would be able to provide for people if I were to go to a convention. I have to look at the, the benefits that I would be able to give to other people. It's not necessarily about me at all anymore. You think, look at the blob of players, just everyone hanging around running to jump into the Sarlacc pit. Because it's not always about me at that point. It's about what I would be able to give to other people. People say, you know, do what fulfills you emotionally. All right, cool. I'm just going to play the Ocarina of Time for a while. If all the stories were as good as the Octave, the Octave is an amazing story. That's true. You've got to have a balance. You do have to have a balance. North, not East. Okay, cool. We're going North now. Straight North. It is about finding a balance. It really is about finding a balance. And to me, I've said it before, it just gets to me knowing that I'm spending 30 or 40 hours to create original content that people like and people value, knowing that it's never going to be as successful as just reacting to a load of stuff. The group is already at the pit. Zeppler is live. I'm not going to ruin Zeppler's day again. I think we've ruined Zeppler enough for the time being. I think she needs some time to recover from the crazy experience that was that just absolute maddening, maddening stream. Just get in a hot tub while you do it. Uploading full streams unedited to YouTube. Uh, yeah, we did. We did on um, Josh Drive Replays. We've got Josh Drive Haze, which is the main MMO channel. Josh Drive Plays, which is the classic games that I review. And Josh Drive Replays, which is just full uploads of the Twitch streams. Yeah, they're not all there yet, but they are mostly there. Right, so this is the Sand Anus. Ladies and gentlemen, look look at this. Look at us. Let's go into the sand butt. <laughs> What a moment. What a moment. Brilliant. Thousand years of digestion as we've all been digested by the sand butt. Selfie time. That's what it is. So, yeah, it's... It's... Hang on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at us. Look at us. I've taken a Gaiazo screenshot of that. I'm not sure if it's loaded up yet, but I think it has. Yeah, it's loaded. Beautiful. Absolutely gosh darn beautiful. I will stick that in the Discord. 
Ladies and gents, it's been two hours. I normally stream for about two hours just because the streams that I have are much more... I think I, I tend to stream more intensely. We've got a few more people in, so we'll just do another. There we go. I stream much more intensely. Uh, we're always talking, always active, always doing something, and I can't keep that up for more than about two or three hours. Raid Zeppler. That's something we could do. Hang on. <laughs> she won't see this coming, will she? If you've not been in uh, Zeppler's stream before, she plays Final Fantasy XIV. She is a lovely girl. Uh, she has she has a thousand people watching her play Final Fantasy XIV right now. She is not going to be ready for this. So let's just raid Zeppler HQ. Just double check that I'm getting the uh, the name on that correct. There we go. This channel has follower or subscriber only chat. Okay, that's fine. We can do that, ladies and gents. Let's get ready to go and raid Zeppla. Let's see how she's doing. And I will see all of you gorgeous people when I put another YouTube video out. Sneak peek. Next YouTube video is going to be... Was it good? Legacy of Cain. Soul Reaver. So I hope you're looking forward to that because it's one of my favourite video games of all time. Ladies and gents, I will see you sometime soon. Let's go and raid now. See how she's doing. Take care. Good night. And God bless.